A 38-year-old Dr. Ugochuku Williams has since declared his intention to run for president under the umbrella of the PDP, making him the youngest aspirant in the party so far. Williams boasted that the over 100 million Nigerian youths would kick out the ruling APC in 2023 if he is given the party's ticket. He said he would introduce efficient technology-driven measures to tackle insecurity, deepen the content of democracy, and also rebuild the collapsed economy. He's the youngest uh, presidential aspirant so far and at the, in the PDP. He's joining us now on the Primetime News to uh, have a chat with us. Are you there, Doctor? Yes, I'm here. Glad to have you. So tell us, uh, have you at any point met with uh, any hiccups threatening you to, to back off from this race? Come again, please. Have you at any moment met with any hiccups threatening you to back off? Yeah, nobody has threatened me, but, but I have had calls for me to collapse my structure to their own job. Okay, what's, what's your uh, driving force? What motivated you to join the race? Yes, what motivated me was the challenges of Nigeria. And uh, the desire for a younger and a more vibrant to take over political position in Nigeria. Because actually I know that the young people have the more have the capacity and they may be take up the challenges of Nigeria as well. Tell us about the Rebuild Nigeria project. Yeah, the uh, Rescue Nigerian Project is not Rescue Nigerian, it's the Nigerian Project. You can't rescue without the Rebuild. The Rebuild Nigerian Project, as Nigeria is today, every Nigerian knows that Nigeria is already for that. All the structure, the economy, the security architecture, and every sector of my culture. So we are the Rebuild Nigeria project is to rebuild the collapse state of Nigeria. Okay, um, the Rebuild Nigeria project is to uh, uh, review and rebuild the collapsed um, economy, the collapsed system of Nigeria, and you are. A youth. So, you want to tell us about youth participation in politics? Are you coming again, please? Do you want to tell us about youth participation in politics? So far, are you satisfied? Yes. What do you want to see changed? Yes. The desire for change is the reason, the desire for, change is the reason for our participation in politics. Over the years, the youth has not been fully involved in active politics in Nigeria, especially inclusiveness in governance, taking on political positions, especially at the presidential position in Nigeria. We, yeah, at this time, I feel it is time for the young people to take over. And you know, before now, we've spoken about the youth as the leaders of tomorrow. I feel that tomorrow is now. My last question to you. My last question to you. Now, I need you to answer me this very sincerely. Are you doing this for some social media clout? Am I what? Are you, doing, are you in this for some social media clout? Can I get you clearly? Are you doing this for some social media clout? No, 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 no. We are very committed to this project. And I, I want, I have made it clear in every forum that we are determined to take over political position. We are not ready for social media clout. And, uh, 
because you have all it takes to be the president of the Federal Republic of As a young Nigeria, you have all it takes to be the GCFR of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Taking up the position, taking, controlling the affairs of Syria, controlling the tattoo space of progression, handling the security architecture, handling the economic sector, handling the agricultural sector. We are fully ready and we are committed to this project. I was to make that my last question, but you tempted me to add one more. You mentioned the security architecture. What are you going to do about the security situation if given the chance to handle the uh, leadership uh, of this country? If you give me, if, if, if I become the president of the public of America, That's right. yeah, which I will, in the first month of my administration, I will introduce what is called, called safe community security. Using the security personal apparatus to secure our community. Once we have secured every community in Nigeria, we have secured Nigeria. One of the things we are going to do is introducing what we call border security services, closing the entrances that the defector bandits pass through to enter Nigeria to cause and mayhem in our people. The DSG will take care of that. That is border security that we will introduce that. We will also introduce a more technology security system. Hereby we have to use technology driven system to secure Rather than doing or uh, old model way of professional means I will also increase the recruitment of young people in the Nigerian Army Navy. Currently, Nigerian, Nigerian police is doing 10,000, which is the they have not done it for the past few years. I think the first one now. Nigerian Army is this 1,000 currently. Nigerian Navy is this 5,000. If I become the president of this country by next year, we will increase it. Nigerian Army 50,000 for the first year. Navy, every year for the first, for our first four years, we will recruit 250,000, 200,000 in. And that will give us enough manpower to man the unmanned area in Nigeria. And that is one of our changes. We have a lot of unmanned area. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ugochuka Williams. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.